It's, uh, it's an honor to be here and to be the last person to speak before your uh, network drink. Um, well, as Ensa has mentioned, I've been with uh, this organization for two months, and uh, I'm sure some of you wonder, what does ASTRI stand for and what does it do? Well, um, I have a good news to tell you. Uh, Christmas is uh, a few months away, but I'm the uh, Santa Claus in technology. The reason is the following. ASTRI is actually almost 100% funded by the Hong Kong government. Uh, we have 500 people, 420 engineers, uh, nearly thousands of patents. And uh, we exist because we're here supposed to uh, figure a way to give our, away our stuff to you at the incredibly low cost for what we do. Um, the reason that Hong Kong government decided to set this up, and we have been around for 14 years, I should say, Astri, um, is because uh, we decided, the Hong Kong government decided that we need to do something in terms of technology. And uh, recently they created this post called CMO. And before that, as Anson mentioned, uh, I founded my little company, which I took to uh, public at the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, and I sold it. Um, and then after that, uh, my wife began to complain that I wasn't doing anything useful at home, no uh -huh. on the golf course. Um, so I picked up this job uh, called CMO, uh, Chief Marketing Officer. But um, some, somebody kid with me that this also, the M also stands for Chief Money Making Officer for other people. Um, so now I'm, uh, I'm in sort of a, a role to figure a way to help folks. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about Astri, talk a little bit about open innovations in the next uh, 12 minutes. Um, Astri, as I mentioned, we have about you know, 500 people. We provide, if you're in sourcing, let's give an example. If you're in sourcing and you figure that your customer needs something that requires technologies beyond what you can do, and you have a plan to do that, but you have no talent or no time, no resources, or don't know what to do, Astri may be your answer. The way we work is that you come with an idea, we talk, primarily with me, and I would assign an uh, engineer uh, to talk to you to see whether it is feasible. So a number of possibilities happen. The first possibility is, is that uh, it turns out that the stuff is so trivial, we just figure a way to help you uh, easily. Or if it is a project of certain size, then the Hong Kong government comes in. There are three possibilities to work with us. One is that we'll tell you, okay, well, you need this particular software to make your logistic world better. You need to help your customers so that you uh, can solve their big data problem. Or you even need an RFID chip. Or you need a, a, a new battery. Uh, you need cloud computing. or uh, lately, you are in financial technologies, and then you are worried that your system may be hacked. You can come talk to us. Uh, either we do this stuff exclusively for you, which is the most expensive things to ask for, but it's the quickest way to get your stuff, depends on the size of the project, or you can come to us and say, well, you know what? I'm not too sure. This is a little bit exploratory for me, um, and uh, can you help me? And we'll say, sure. Give me $1 for every nine other dollars that you can get from the government, and it will help you find the nine dollars from the government. So it's a 10 to nine matching. And plus, if you are registered in Hong Kong, you also get the R&D tax benefit. So that means that for the one dollar that you give, you actually will get 35 cents back from the Hong Kong government as a tax incentive. So essentially, 65 cents for 10 dollars. So I think, I think this is a pretty good deal. But of course, you should say that the trick of that is if you do that with us, uh, we may say, hey guys, uh, what you're asking for is great, but we need to open this up for everybody else. Now, but sometimes you say, oh, it doesn't matter. You know, this is a very fundamental stuff that we get. Once I get your innovations from Astri, we'll have engineers to wrap it in another skin and do it further and promote it. So we don't quite care. So you can go for that, that route. Or if you say to yourself, hey, wait a minute. Um, what I do is absolutely top secret. I don't want to share with anybody. Then you can go with another scheme, which is called a 50-50 uh, 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 project. 50-50 means that as long as you pay for the total project cost more than 50%, in this case, everybody pays 50.001%. Uh, 
um, then the government will match the, the remaining $49.99999. In that case, you get everything. Now also, um, in terms of the contributions, it's, it's not necessarily that it's in cash. It can be in kind as well, depends on the kind of software. But of course, uh, I mean uh, the system that you want. It can be stuff that, uh, but the Hong Kong government has to recognize the value of that in kind. For instance, sometimes we work with software company, they say, well, you know what, the, so the piece of software that we use, um, you can also use it for other customers. So why don't I give you also some of our products so that you can develop for other people and we'll gladly talk to you about this. So my nickname is, uh, is uh, Santa Claus for Technology, just so you remember. Um, we have about um, 21 areas of expertise, all the way from the user interface, manufacturing technologies, low power, optical IC, uh, if you're in communication, RFIC, memory chip, video, communications, security surveillance, uh, sensors, packaging, uh, mobile computer, if you're interested in smart living, uh, our folks just uh, came back from Barcelona, the World Mobile Conference, uh, doing really, really cool things on something called the Internet of Things, uh, IoT, um, that you can connect sensors, that you can connect almost 200 sensors and then let them communicate amongst themselves while actually you're sitting in Hong Kong and you, are, you want to control your, let's say, logistic centers in Paris or, or, or Beijing. Um, data analytics, cybersecurity is a big effort that we're doing. Um, we have tons of engineers doing this. By the way, our engineers are really top-notch. Uh, I was discussing with some of the guests here. Um, I was discussing, Yvonne is still here, and no, I think he's gone. Um, he was asking me where do we get our engineers. Um, when I, before I joined Astri, I was studying it, and then once I get to meet the people there, I can tell you this is a house of nerds. I've never seen so many congregate together. Um, you get guys from most prestigious university. You get guys who used to work for Google and get a PhD from Stanford, from UCLA, from Berkeley, from Imperial Ox Oxbridge, and all sort of great places. But for various reasons, they decided that they want to come back to Hong Kong. And um, we are by far the largest. I dare to say that we're the largest R&D center, public or private, but I'm not too sure because HSBC may complain because they have a huge software center doing software. But in terms of pure research, uh, we certainly are the largest in Hong Kong um, for that matter. And we're open, open for business because I assume that all of you are somehow connected to Hong Kong. That's the only requirement. Um, we have baseband solution, network solutions, and uh, image solution. But in terms of these technologies, group them in several domains. So data analytics, uh, next generation network. Oh, by the way, we also do community service. Some of you may wonder, because we're a government body, we do community service. So for instance, uh, there, are, there are folks, uh, we're doing e-learning uh, for adults, I mean senior citizens. We do smart living for senior citizens, uh, make sure that they, are, uh, they can connect to the internet, the kids can learn. So we do that, do that. So in, in case of French Chamber of Commerce, for instance, as a hypothetical example, somehow want to spread the French culture um, uh, amongst a certain sector of the society, you can talk to us. We have lots of technologies that can help you. And the government actually helps us fund that. Uh, financial technology, medical health, um, wow. I was blown away when I saw the medical technologies. Um, we have technologies that without uh, poking uh, into your finger, just uh, shine a, literally shine a light at your finger, I can detect whether you are stressed. I can detect uh, 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 whether you are diabetics. Of course, these are in research stage, but I was blown away. They can detect um, a various uh, uh, vital signs of you, uh, and it's, it's a device about this big and then you can connect to the internet. And we are now building up more test data. We're working together with hospitals and clinics to see whether it's possible. And again, Astri is not, you know, someone asked me, we're not for profit. I, I, I love this. I used to work <laughs> day and night to, to, make a, to, to, uh, to, to make some money and to uh, and any report, the most important thing is what is your revenue, what is your growth, and suddenly I'm in this heaven that uh, nobody talks to me about money. You know, I'm like a saint, you know, suddenly money is beneath me. But, but seriously, what I want to do as a CMO, Chief Marketing Officer, is to connect with folks like yourself. Because you may not need it, but your customers may need it. And if your customer have this, then you help serve them better. 
I haven't get a chance to meet with uh, all of you folks, but uh, I understand from the organizers, a lot of you are in logistics and apparels and textiles, and I was sitting here listening to the sourcing. Um, it doesn't matter if you have some stuff from India, technologies and figure that you know you want to figure out how to promote that or customize it for your other customers you have the raw technologies come talk to us uh, we have technologies that are really 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 cool uh, lately uh, recently we have a technologies that is in e-retailing I said wow this is really cool uh, the minute you pick up something um, the shop owner or the, or, the, or the floor assistants will figure out what to promote to you next because there's a the big data and analytics without invading, of course, your privacy, by the way. I mean, we, uh, we take extra caution of that. So these are really, really new technologies. We have technologies that you can go into a shopping mall, multiple cameras, they can track your head. They can track your movement. I mean, that's very useful, right? If you are, uh, 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 if you are in the retailing business or you, you are in the logistic business, you want to figure a way out. You can attach an RFID tag to every object that move past your premises. How do you track them? Um, we have technologies, of course, these are research phase. I was again blown away. You can look at the you can look at the camera, multiple of them, and tell you that, you know, Ensign, you're probably not paying attention, you're happy, you're not happy, you're thinking about beer. You have, they can do a facial expression detection. I said, wow, this is pretty cool. And this is not race based. That means that it doesn't matter whether you are French or you are Hong Kong or Chinese or you're mainland Chinese because they, we have millions of data collected. It turns out that there are ways, they at least estimate, they're not 100% accurate, but it turns out to be pretty cool. And for some applications, that's useful. So it's, it's all technologies. And why do I say it's open source? Well, the, the reason we believe it's open source is that we want to open up these technologies. Um, first of all, I'm a personal, uh, I'm personal, I'm very passionate about open source. I think without open source, most of, our open, most of our mobile phones won't work. Most of our computer software won't work. I mean, regardless of what uh, the, the big guy says, all the fundamental technologies, they derive it from open source. Uh, 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 you know, whether they admit it or not. The, the way they make it work is because they customize it, they put a different skin, and they put a new, newer user interface to make sure it's compatible. But the very fundamental technologies, a lot of them that you're using today, and thank God, is open source. And at Astri, we also believe that it's a semi-open model, although we do tell you that if it's, a, as I mentioned, it's a 50-50 match, you do get the IP, but we, we retain the so-called background IP. And for the background IP, my job is to make sure that as many people benefit as possible. But that's our objective, without damaging your, your, your interests, of course. We have to be very careful about that. So on our contracts, don't be surprised if we send you a contract, if you engage with us. It's literally hundreds of pages, but that's all for the protection for all parties, to make sure that everything is clean, that you can use the technologies, and in the future, if there's another entrepreneur come to us, and then we can help them develop their business as well. So, and we work with a lot of universities. Uh, we are our main target in the past, and some of you may wonder, how come I've never heard of this organization? Come on, 500 people in mean, 14 years? What have you been doing? Well, that's true. One of the reasons is because in the past, for various reasons, we're very much focused on the really, really gigantic companies. Um, some of the companies that are manufacturing you know, millions of mo smartphones every day, they want to figure out how to put the logo better, you know, for stuff like that. But now, uh, our new mandate is to make sure that we also help the, we call the emerging class. It doesn't matter how big, how small your company is. Maybe you're a very big company, but you have a project that's critical, you don't have resources, or you're a very small company, a big project that you cannot handle, you can come talk to us. Uh, we also are uh, launching something, a uh, project called Project Extended Runway. Uh, it's for people who, um, through our selections, and say, hey, I don't even know what the heck I want to do, but I have this idea. You know, maybe in a few years I want to start a company, come talk to us, we'll pay you to stay with us. And when you're ready, we'll kick you out, give you the software literally for free, and then you go and start the company. So we're doing a lot of things, um, a lot of the, there, there, unfortunately there will be some paperwork for all the programs that we offer, but once you're in, we try to take good care of you. Uh, we're located at the Science Park, if you, uh, for those of you who are familiar with the Sha Tin area, next to the Chinese University, next to Taipo, next to the uh, Tolo Harbor. There's a beautiful science park we're located there. Um, 
I, I, I try to uh, uh, give examples. And I do still want to stick a picture of me uh, with HKUSD Perceptive Astry. But that's really um, my background. When I uh, first started, I was teaching at the HK, uh, Hong Kong University of Science and Technology and Engineering. And also, my good friend Yvonne and I, we went to attend an EMBA at school together. Um, so we, we are a fervent believer, believer of something that can open to us. And the little company that I started was called Perception Digital, which I recently sold. Um, we, we, do multi, we do multimedia um, algorithm. Uh, because I sold it, so there's no commercial interest in it. But what we did, and we benefited from it because uh, we, li we, li we get the, uh, algor we get the uh, uh, algorithm from the open source, but we package it. And eventually, we sold the package solutions to companies like Philips, SanDisk, and uh, indirectly to the companies, the big guys as well. And in S Street, now I'm full-time doing this. So, you know, I, I really want to excite you. Um, I don't know the technologies or the stuff that you're doing. Uh, we help with, we're here, I wouldn't say help, you also help enrich our portfolio, right? And, and it makes, makes our, our, our beings more significant. So if you have contacts who need technologies, uh, you can come talk to us. If you have clients who need technologies, you can talk to us. If you have any needs, you can come talk to us. Uh, we may not be able to satisfy you 100% time. And I have to forewarn you because we are Hong Kong government funded institutions. Some people find us at the, at the beginning a little bit, how do you say, bogged down with details. But hey, you guys, most of you are from the French government. Um, so I'm sure by, in comparison, we are a little bit more efficient than that. That's it. That's my French joke. But anyway, so I want to thank you. Uh, I, I can't see that's very far, the sign. Um, but it uh, looks like uh, the lady at the back tells me that I have done enough advertisement. But um, again, I'm, uh, my name is Jack, Jack Lau. Uh, you can come call, uh, find me anytime. I brought a stack of my business cards, so anybody who wants a, a, a coaster can grab a business card from me. And thank you very much for your time. Thank you.